Hi, welcome to my soapbox, where I really love talking about taboo subjects. Things that I feel in our culture are really important to be talking about to add more awareness and consciousness and love to things that are misunderstood. So PMS is what I want to talk about today. PMS gets a bad rap. How many of you get cramps or headaches or have moodiness where this just allows people to call us a bitch, right? How unfair is that? Because these are just symptoms, and I've long said that symptoms are just your body communicating a message to you, inviting you to connect and to make adjustments to our, um, to our lives in ways that support us. So historically, when a woman bleeds, this is an incredibly sacred time. And often in nomadic cultures, the women would all bleed together and go to what's called a red tent in order to gain the insight and guidance for their whole tribe for the next coming month. So they'd come back to the tribe and they might say, okay, in, in two nights we will see a hawk on a rock and we will go east. And all the men and all of the, the elders really honored this wisdom of the women. So how did we get so far away from that? And in, in Ayurveda, when a woman bleeds, we wouldn't cook for ourselves. We didn't, wouldn't do manual labor. There's a support and a reverence and an awareness that the veils are more thin. We don't have as many defenses to, or barriers to be able to protect ourselves in a vulnerable time against what is, in many ways, a harsh world that we live in. Right? If we weren't subjected to fluorescent lighting, we would all bleed according to the moon cycles on a 28-day cycle. And if we didn't, then we would know that there's a health issue. So we've gotten so far away from these natural rhythms. So there's lots of herbs and techniques and things you can do for PMS. But first and foremost, I want to invite you to listen to these messages as a divine invitation to support yourself and look at how you can support that time to maybe not be so social during that time. Give yourself space to contemplate. Take warm baths. Have solo time. Let me know in the comments below what you do or how you've worked with some of your, your symptoms of PMS. And look for my blogs and other videos on some other health techniques with herbs and that type of thing. Thank you for joining me and don't forget to subscribe. And again, comment, tell me what you think. Mwah.